Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually starting a new vlog which feels like something that I have not done in honestly forever. It's been a long time since I've vlogged and honestly it was just because I've not really been doing anything that's worth vlogging. As I've said a million times I'm working at my summer job currently so it's kind of just boring, mundane, same old things every day. It's actually my last week at my summer job at the minute so it's actually my last day tomorrow and it's also my birthday tomorrow. So. I thought I'd do a vlog of like kind of my birthday weekend, not sure if this will turn into a weekly vlog, I'll just see how much I have to film. Um, this morning I went and got my hair cut, um, not really planned for my birthday or anything, I just needed a trim, um, so me and my mum went and we got our hair done. It's looking a lot neater at the ends now, the split ends were getting pretty bad. Uh, so went and did that, my car's gone in for its MOT, that's very boring, no one probably wants to know that but... My car is gone, I have no car, which is quite sad because I like to be able to just know that I can just like drive where I want, but I'll get it back in a few days. So yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. I am at work tomorrow, so it's not really a jam-packed full day. Um, but after work, I'm going up to my granddad's and we're all gonna have a Chinese and like have birthday cake and things. So I'm really excited about that. Just a nice quiet evening. And then I think Ryan, my boyfriend, is staying here. Um, and then on Saturday, I think I'm going out with a few of my friends at night, possibly. And then on Sunday, we're going out for a meal at a restaurant because we didn't want to do that on my actual birthday because I work half 12 till half six. So it would be quite a rush to actually go somewhere for tea. So we're going to do that on Sunday. And then on Monday night, me and my boyfriend are going out for tea because it's the last day of the eat out help out scheme. So we thought we'd take advantage and go out for tea. So. A lot of kind of food focused things that's kind of my favorite anyway um so yeah i thought i'd take you guys along with me i'll also probably do like a little what i got for my birthday thing um because i love nosing what other people will get for their birthday so might do that hey guys so it's actually now my birthday um i didn't film any more yesterday because well I went to work and then just came home, ate some pasta and went to bed. Um, and my dog had me up all through the night, like, one in my room, one out my room, one in my mum's room. Didn't have the best sleep, won't lie. I'm just doing my makeup because, you know, it's my birthday, so I want to have, like, a little bit of makeup on. I am, as I said yesterday, I'm actually at work today for my birthday, but I'll get done at half past six and then... We're going to go and have a Chinese, like I've already mentioned. Uh, I have got some birthday presents at the minute, but I'm going to do like a full what I got for my birthday when I've had everything. So yeah, I am one year older. Yeah, not a very exciting birthday, I won't lie. Like, being 19 is just kind of like, meh. Nothing really changes. I hope that it's an easy work day today. I love this bronzer so much. It honestly looks so flawless. The Charlotte Tilbury is like the airbrush airbrush bronzer i don't know but i love it i'm also waiting on a delivery coming in from tarte i ordered some makeup because they had an amazing amazing sale on uh, but obviously because it's coming from the us it's taking a long time i have a feeling it might come in today um but hopefully it'll be here before i go back to uni because if not that really would be a disaster <laughs> Favourite blush at the minute as well. Again, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. I love the Charlotte Tilbury blushers. Another favourite at the minute as well is, especially during summer, has been this L'Oreal Life to Peach blusher. Such a gorgeous peachy blusher and smells just amazing. Smells so beautiful. So if you want a nice kind of summery glowy blusher, I know we're kind of going into autumn now, but it can work all the time. Like it's beautiful. I also am hoping to buy soon the Canon G7X Mark II because I film on my iPhone and you know it's great, it's fine. The main thing that annoys me is storage issues. Uh, so hopefully soon I'll be able to upgrade my camera. But yeah, I'm very excited to be vlogging at uni. There will be lots of uni week in my life. Um, I have loads of ideas. I'm going to do a room tour, I'm going to do weekend outfits, I want to do like a food shop haul, I want to do uh, what I eat in a week. I also want to do what I spend in a week. I used to love watching people's uni what I spend in a week. Such good videos. Here is my finished makeup. Just very, very kind of simple because I am going to work today, but 
I want it to have quite flawless skin. I am loving the combination at the minute of using this Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer and then on top of it using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. I find if you use a really heavy primer than this it looks so cakey but using a primer that's very light and hydrating like the Ciate one plus a full coverage foundation just gives such a flawless finish. I really am obsessed with it at the minute. Hey guys, so I'm just back from work, my last day at work. I'm officially a free woman again, which feels pretty great. But we're just about to go up to my granddad's now to all have a Chinese. So I'll show you guys what we all end up getting. Probably won't look the most aesthetic meal ever because Chinese is just like carbs, but I'll show you anyway and uh, keep you updated with what I get up to for the rest of my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tabitha. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Make a wish. Hey guys, so it's now Saturday. I'm actually going out tonight, uh, so that'll be quite exciting. Excited to see some of my friends. Um, but I've thought that before I go, because I do have a bit of time, I'll show you everything I got for my birthday. Um, I didn't film much for my birthday. Honestly, just due to forgetting, like I was gonna film the Chinese, I forgot. I did film the cake, had a carrot cake. Please don't judge. I know that that's so controversial, but I don't really like cake and carrot cake is like one of the only cakes that I like. I have weird tastes. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a little what I got for my birthday. Okay, so I'm going to start off with everything I got from my mum. I've forgotten something I got from my mum, hang on. So I've featured these on my channel before, uh, when I kind of just started my YouTube. Um, but she got me some of these vegan all sorts. They are the most amazing sweets if you can't eat sweets with gelatine in them. These are delicious, so she got me a bag of them, very grateful. And by the way, um... Everyone says this, I know that it's a very annoying comment, but just putting it out there. I'm not showing you all this to brag. I, I just genuinely am very interested in noticing what other people got for their birthday. So if any of you guys are interested, then I thought you might like this little segment. My mum then also got me a spice rack, which I asked for because during lockdown, I've been doing a lot more cooking and I wanted a spice rack to be able to store all my herbs and spices at uni and I just think this is gorgeous. It's a little bit different, love the style of it. Will fit on my side, love that. My mum then also pays for my gym membership throughout the year, so got that for my birthday. And she has ordered me this Unif cardigan that I have been wanting for the longest time. I feel like Sunbeam's Jess used to have it and I saw it on her and fell in love with it. If she didn't have it, she was definitely the person who kind of made me just look at Unif clothes and want everything. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture of it here. Definitely an acquired taste. My mum hates it, my boyfriend hates it, uh, but I've been going on about it for the longest time. So my mum has ordered me that, but obviously because it's coming from America, it's gonna take a while to come in, but I'll show you guys when it does come in. Um, so moving on to what my sister got me. My mum must have mentioned that she was getting me a spice rack. So my sister got me a set of 12 jars of spices. I have enough spices to last me a lifetime, honestly. So there's things in here like onion, pink Himalayan salt, thyme, parsley. And obviously I will be able to keep it in this. So I'm gonna have this full of spices in my uni flat and then the spice rack full of spices as well. So that's a lot of spices. People are gonna think I have an obsession, but that is fine, never have enough spices. She then also got me a mug and a coaster. I don't have the mug, it's actually been put to wash because I drank out of it last night, but it just says the same as what it says on the coaster. I thought this was just quite funny. It says, I can't keep calm, I'm studying psychology. And that's a very me thing. I'm a very stressy person. I am the stress head of like friendship groups, the family, I am 
the one who gets stressed out so so incredibly easily so that made me laugh and that'd be nice to use in my flat so other family members i just got kind of money and things and then from my granddad we went halves on a new laptop so I have ordered a MacBook. I'm getting a MacBook Pro. Uh, we'll do an unboxing and everything when I get it. I need a new laptop for uni and I want to be able to play some games on it and do some editing. So I decided that it would probably be better if I had a Pro. However, the Pros can't be delivered until the end of September. In fact, now if you check, I think it's into October. So I'm gonna have to wait quite a while to get them. However, I did get some free AirPods with the like student discount thing. So everyone knows what AirPods look like, but they just have my initials on them and then come in the case. Came for free with uh, the laptop and they are a lot better. Like when I was out on the dog walk the other day, it was nice to not have to like constantly be untangling myself because of my earphones. It was nice to just have wireless ones. So yeah, that's what I got from them. Now I'm gonna move on to my boyfriend's family. So they got me a little cute makeup bag from Next, some face wash products. I've mentioned before that uh, they have like a family run like beauty salon and hairdressers and they sell and use Gatineau products on their customers. Very luxurious skincare. I'm very, very lucky to get these. Um, so I've got the Gatineau Transforming Cream Cleanser for normal to dry skin, which will be very, very lovely. And the Gatineau aqua memory high hydration cream mask for dehydrated skin so thought they would be very very nice to use so my boyfriend's mom then also picked me up this opi nail polish i actually don't have a color that's like the stark purple i have lilac i have dark blue i don't have purple so that'll be very nice i love opi nail polishes i think they're really really good quality and then she also got me this little um eyeshadow palette from the Beauty Works. I've never actually heard of this brand, but I used this eyeshadow palette on my eyes today. It's like a, got a lot of pink shimmers in it, and then this matte kind of purple shade. Such a gorgeous little trio and very travel friendly. But yeah, I've never heard of this brand before, but I was very, very impressed. Very pigmented, easy to blend. So I really, really like this. And she also got me what I am quite possibly the most excited about, some of the Jamie Genevieve Tatty Lashes. These are the TL Jamie 3. I want to try all the different pairs. I think they all look gorgeous. Um, so very, very excited to have these. So moving on to what my boyfriend got me. He told me he wasn't gonna get me makeup because he says I have too much. And then he proceeded to get me makeup because he knows how much I wanted new makeup. So that was nice of him. He got me a lot of different makeup bits. So he got me a Charlotte Tilbury set. He got me the Pillow Talk lipstick and then the Lip Cheat lip liner as well. It's actually what I've got on now. Such a nice pinky nude. I'm very, very, very happy that he got me them. So this is what the lipstick looks like. I feel like I don't even need to show you guys these because everyone knows what these look like, but just such luxurious packaging. Like Charlotte Tilbury is definitely a luxury. Um, this is it here just a nice pinky nude and like I said I've got it on my lips so I was very very grateful that he got me them because I know that Charlotte Tilbury products are really really not cheap. He then also got me some Glossier bits Um, again a brand I've never tried anything from Glossier but I'm very very excited to try some bits from Glossier. Um, I love how it comes in these little pouches the sticker came with it and I stuck it on because I think I want to keep the pouch I'm very weird about packaging, like I just love it. Um, so he got me two little sets that you can kind of buy off the website from Glossier. So he got the brow set, which I asked for. I have again used this set today. I think it's done a really nice job at keeping my brows looking very natural because I feel like I tend to do a very blocky brow when I fill them in and I want to start doing more of a natural brow. So yeah, he got me the brow flick and the boy brow. Um, the packaging again, you guys will know what this looks like. This is like kind of, beauty youtuber favorites but packaging of glossier stuff is just so sleek i really really like it so this is the brow flick just like a felt tip pen i got mine in the shade i think it's just brown so yeah both of them just in the shade brown and then this is what the boy brow looks like this is amazing i've tried it and i'm absolutely in love with 
how much it fills in your brows but keeps them looking really natural as well and then he also got me balm.com trio because i've been loving using lip balm for a more natural look so he got me the original one the berry and the mango and oh my goodness the berry and the mango smell amazing and again the packaging just look at that i really really love them i'll take them out of the box to show you guys here is what they all look like if my dogs would stop barking yeah here are all what they look like in the packaging i just love glossier packaging so minimal so stunning um smell amazing 10 out of 10 would recommend and then he also got me this necklace from regal rose which i have been wanting for a long time i think it's so cute it's like silver because i wear mostly silver jewelry and then it has a little gold heart and it's like a hand clasping at heart which i just think is the cutest thing ever so yeah i'm really really happy with this it's very very unique a lot of regal rose jewelry i find to be really unique and cute so i'm super super excited to keep getting wear out of this it was very very kind of him to get me this so yeah that's everything that i got for my birthday i'll show you guys the card again when it comes in i'll show you my macbook as well but very very grateful and thankful to everyone who got me everything i thought i'd just show you guys in case anyone was interested so yeah, I am going out tonight, so probably won't vlog anymore, um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm at my boyfriend's, hence why the lighting is horrific. I literally cannot get nice lighting anywhere in his room, but it's, it's now Sunday. I had a very, very nice evening last night with all my friends. I did get a little bit drunk, so I am feeling slightly worse for wear, and I actually filmed the what I got for my birthday when I was a little bit tipsy, so... I hope that wasn't a massive embarrassment but um we're going out for tea tonight with my family for like my birthday meal because on my actual birthday we just had a chinese so that should be really really nice i'm super excited because where we're going i haven't been for a long time and their menu is pretty decent they actually have a full vegan menu as well haven't decided whether or not i'll get something from that but fish and chips is kind of tempting me i'm not gonna lie but yeah, that is the plan for tonight. I've been having the most chilled morning, most chilled day ever. Um, I've got the Glossier brow stuff on again. This is much better lighting here. Yeah, I've got the Glossier brow stuff on again. I'm really loving the more natural brow. Might have to change because I just do feel like my brows are a bit blocky sometimes. But yeah, I am... Um, hopefully going to remember to film the food we get later i really really am gonna try but yeah i'm having a really really lovely weekend next weekend i move back to edinburgh so it's gonna be a stressful week ahead <laughs> hey guys so i know i said that i was not gonna forget to vlog the meal but guess what? I forgot to vlog the star and the main, but for the star I had these really nice halloumi fries and then the main I had like a pumpkin spinach burger. It was amazing. Um, and then I did show you guys the dessert. Mine was a bit of a disappointment and Ryan's cheesecake that he had was amazing. So I was a bit kind of gutted. I know the lighting in this clip is horrible, but um, I think now we're just gonna go back. I'm staying at Ryan's again. Um, I need to get some stuff from mine. And then we're just gonna have a really nice relaxing evening, I think. So yeah, I feel like this has been a bit of a absolute fail of a birthday vlog. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know why I've been forgetting to vlog everything, but if I get up to anything interesting, well, tomorrow night me and Ryan are going out for another meal because it's the last day of the eat out help out. I'll try um, you. Yes, please do try and remind me to vlog. So yeah, I will hopefully remember to vlog that meal morning guys so matt ryan's i stayed here last night after we went out for a meal with my family and we were meant to be eating tonight half past eight but i was like that's so late so i kind of called them up and asked if they had any earlier times because half eight was the only time they had left but the kitchen shuts at nine so i know they'd stay open for us but that would just make me like constantly anxious that i'm annoying them because we're getting food so late so I called them and we've changed it to five. So um, so that kind of means I'm in a semi-rush. Uh, Ryan's at the gym right now and then he needs to take me home. 
and then I said I drive tonight um not sure if I need to walk my dogs but I've just done literally the exact same makeup as I did yesterday uh, again got the Glossier brow flick and boy brow on and I am just obsessed they just look so much nicer I think it's also kind of dawning on me that I go back to Edinburgh so soon and I'm gonna need to pack so soon so that is getting kind of a bit scary kind of a bit stressful but I am gonna vlog the whole process I also had to look at the menu for the place tonight they have halloumi fries for starter which I did have last night but may have to have again because I just can't turn down halloumi and then the mains they've got like a roasted vegetable burrito thing I think it might be an enchilada actually something along those lines or a halloumi pizza and then for dessert they have churros which I'm probably gonna get so I'm so excited for tonight I know that I've been eating out like mad um but when I get back to Edinburgh I'm gonna get back to the gym and all will be fine so it's now Tuesday I am a mess but today is the day that packing commences and so I need to end the birthday vlog because birthday weekend that kind of dragged into Monday is now over so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here um what's to come next I probably will have an ASOS haul I'm gonna film a makeup collection video today before I go back to uni because my storage is better at home and then of course after that uni videos will begin or maybe there'll be some of them mixed in with uni ones i'm not sure but there's going to be lots of exciting videos to come in the next few weeks so stick around and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and i'll see you in my next video bye guys